Hey YouTube, it's me TRZ Jasper, KMKAX King Spay on YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do some, make your windows animating, like do animation with windows, like open up a program, have it animate certain things, like I just did there. Um, I'm going to show you how to change your logon screen to something else. Um, I would show you, but of course my recording would go away. Um, I can always take a screenshot and put it in the description for you guys so I can do that. But uh, what you want to do first is uh, you want to go to a website called stardoc.com. And pretty much it will show up like this, or at least it should on your computer. And all you have to do is you go down to customer software and say view all. As soon as that pops up, you're going to want to pretty much just scroll down. As soon as it loads up. Scroll down and you'll see all these programs right here. Just all these ones right here. If you want the whole logon screen customized, you go your revisualize your logon screen. Click logon studio. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. But you can just click download there, and then it'll bring you to this. Click and then go to download, and what we'll do is it'll bring up your in email or ask you for your email address it's completely safe you can put your email in because if you put a fake one in pretty much it sends a very a download link to your email so put a real one in and then after you have that done what you're going to want to do is install it and all that it's completely fine and then you're going to want to go to this website windcustomize.com and i'll give you a link in the description for it and pretty much download this if you want an FBI terminal access exactly something like this um, but I don't have the whole text box or the uh, box where you put your username in the uh, but the button icon to uh, load it uh, or anything else it has the whole blue the FBI terminal access the picture and the writing I don't have that so I mean, and then you can download that after that you want to go to your Log on studio and click yes. As soon as this pops up, um, you're going to the this and all of these right here were not in here when I had it, and I was like screwed up because the because I watched a tutorial on this and it wasn't there. And I I'm gonna show you how to get it there. The thing you downloaded which I do not have on my desktop so let me uh, bring it back up um, yeah. okay. so uh, you should have something called F you should have something called FBI login right there and all you have to do is pretty much double click on it drag it up somewhere, drag it up like that or whatever, it just kind of, uh, can't really remember what is what, so, uh, I'm just going to create a new folder, you guys can too, or just extract it to your desktop, but, uh, I'm just going to name it something random, so, uh, let me just extract the files to that folder, so, just give me one minute. Okay, it's gonna extract it. It extracts pretty fast, and all you have to do is just look out. So this is the one I'm going to use, and all I'm gonna do is just you should be able to find it in that program. All you have to do is come here, do create, name it whatever you want. So uh, log on, uh, browse, scroll down to your folder, find it. It'll preview it, open it and then save it and then it should uh, put it right there or within the program all you have to do is click on it click save and then save it somewhere so I'm going to save it to my desktop and then you pretty much do apply it's going to load up it should make a noise if it doesn't you're fine just wait and it should load up and do that and it should take you to the a log on screen as I think so but I am not sure I think it does so I give it a minute alright there we go and then 
I think you guys saw that. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I'll do a screenshot of it. But then all you have to do is it should take you to your user, uh, the logon screen. It should be popped up and it should show this whole background and it should have your regular the long on stuff um to do the animations for your uh for your stuff all you have to uh do is go back to that website stardock.com and download a program called uh actually i'll do it for you i'll show you how to do it so hold on um Okay. Um, view all. Okay. Um. Animate your wallpaper, and you want to do desk, or no? Is it? Oh, sorry, that's for your. Okay, which one is it? Hold on. be this one yeah I think yeah it's this one wow. I had the win FX to add effects to running windows window FX click on it I should give you all this crap up there and it should let you download it I'm pretty sure because it let me download it. So, uh, hold on. This is weird. Alright, what is it doing? Alright. Why is it? Alright, I don't know why it's not doing it, so hold on. Okay. Over here where it has the yellow button, the window FX, so just click download right there and then put your email in, click download, it sends an email uh, download link to your email and bam there you go. After you download that, install it and then it should have it should be named Window FX5 or something, Window FX something. Um, as soon as you get it, I did a trial, I did not pur purchase it so I'm just going to continue. And this is the home screen, all you have to do is go to animations and what you have to do is you go to windows and it will have four different things for uh, window so open and I'll like preview it so like that's one animation you can go down here and this side another animation and then that's another animation so and then you can configure them so like this one you can configure to different things like a pop-up screen there and then configure this one and then you can choose from different options and then you can go and Add an animation to every single open, close, minimize, restore. Same thing with Windows, only open, close, start menu, open, and close, but it does the start menu like like something like that. And then what I have is I have, if I click somewhere else off the program, at least it should, it will disappear like that. And then you can do movement and uh, something with movement. You can mess around with that stuff it's not gonna mess up your computer that much or at all really because I have mine's not messed up at all so uh, and then for the animation if you want to adjust the speed and go down to here uh, the farther it is left the faster it goes farther it is right the slower it goes so uh, I have all my animations set like that will pop up like that and go away like that so just one of them is random, like uh, minimizes random on one of them. And then the desktop animation thing, you have to download Desk Escapes, which is in the same uh, website, stardot.com. All you have to do is do the same thing go to your email, download it, install it, and then uh, go to, and then choose from all these, all these pictures down here. So let's say I'm just gonna do Earth again, and then you can uh, say um, how do I do that again? Oh, the Dream Settings. Um, 
you can adjust how fast it goes and then if you want to do effects you can choose one of these so that makes it like that or like that just kind of different effects I like this one better or sorry about that I like this one better because it's more light if you do that and it just changes it up a bit so it's up to you how you want to do it but uh and then all you have to do is do go to background options and then click install background or no sorry not install background sorry um apply change apply changes or you can just go apply changes there and then you just minimize or exit out of the program it will freeze a little bit and then it'll load up whatever you did so like i did a spinning earth and it loaded up in like about three five seconds so uh thanks for watching rate comment subscribe i'll see you next time peace